Hi guys let's see about IP fragmentation and reassembly. We will be given with a payload which is termed as data that has to be transported across the world to reach its destination. The given packet has to be transported to its respective IP address, in order to reach its destination without any data loss. This makes it reliable. Each and every packets that has to be transported across the world may be of different size, may have different medium of transport. Each medium may have different capabilities termed as MTU. So when MTU is less than size of payload, we fragment our packet. There are two approaches for fragmentation. 1. Dynamic fragmentation. 2. Fragment to a least MTU. In method 1, fragment if packet size is greater than MTU, while entering a medium. In 2, an ICMP message is sent, it checks all the MTU in the path and return it to source. For example, MTU of Ethernet is 1000. Internet protocol, IP will take care of fragmentation and reassembly process. Three fields responsible for fragmentation and reassembly. 1. Identification, identity to each packet. 2. Flag, says further fragments possible or not. 3. Offset, sequence number for ordering. IP will number each fragment with a sequence number. Why? Because the fragmented packets will reach the destination out of order or sequence. The sequence number will help to regain the order, 